Hey everybody, my name is Michael Rosso. I'm the host of the Film Photography Podcast Internet Radio Show on iTunes. And I'm here today to talk to you guys and girls about large format photography. Specifically, the Wista 4 5D. And here it is. It's called a Wista Field Camera. You have to literally open the camera up, which I did. And it kind of just clicked open. And if you'll notice, everything on the camera is loose right now so that uh, I can open up the camera without having to worry about anything breaking. Here are the bellows. Here's where the lens goes. And the bellows need to be pulled out, f out of the camera. So I'm going to pull it out. There you go. And here we go. That is the basic camera without the lens. Now, the lenses for your Wista 45D camera, I mean, like any lens on a traditional film camera, they're amazingly similar. There's, that's the thing. If you already shot with a film camera, and if you're going to shoot large format photography, I'm thinking 100% chance is you've already shot with a film camera. And even if you didn't, and you're proficient in photography, you know about f-stops and shutter speeds. And the lenses on large format cameras are no different. Here... I mean, you maybe have some limitations because the lenses are bigger and more expensive. But here, you know, you can go to, you know, 400th of a second all the way down to uh, B bulb, like just about any film camera. And your f-stops, uh, the fastest that this lens will open is f5.6. And I can stop it down to all the way to f45. Now, there's a cap on the back of your lens that you need to remove. That's the back cap. And then, as far as the camera, surprisingly, the lens literally just snaps on the front. That's it. Done. The lens is now on the camera. You take your lens cap off. Like older cameras, you cock your lens before you actually shoot. You will need a uh, cable release for traditional film cameras. Like in most cameras, there's a little slot for it. There it is. Now, I can literally cock the shutter and fire the lens. How about that? When you are shooting, you'll be looking at the ground glass on the back. You focus by moving the bellows by the distance the lens is from the focal plane or the film plane. Your film is actually a 4x5 sheet film, and you can get this in a variety of uh, types. This is Kodak Ektar, there's Kodak Portra, there's Fuji film, there's Ilford film, there's all sorts of 4x5 film out there. So you could choose what film you like, and then it goes in a traditional 4x5 film holder. And the great thing about 4x5 photography is whether you have a Wista camera or another brand camera, the film backs are all the same. As you can see, here is a piece of 4x5 film. And like all films, you have an emulsion side. Gosh, it's dusty. An emulsion side and a shiny side. And you will know the emulsion side by the fact that the film is notched. See, it's actually... Do you see those notches? That should be in the upper right-hand corner when you're loading your film, and that will tell you that your emulsion side is up. It slides in your film holder. There's like a little rail here on each side, so your film is properly placed. Your film literally slides in. You would be doing this in complete darkness or in a film-changing bag. You close it. You would put your dark slide back in the film holder. And now your film is protected and ready to shoot. You would insert this into the back of the camera like so. Look at that. And then once you, you know, you had already uh, focused your shot by now, you insert your film, you would pull out the black slide like so, exposing your film. You would cock your shutter and you would take your picture. You would put back the black, black slide, like so. You would pull the film holder out of the, your camera. 
and now this side is exposed. Now, by the way, you see a big exposed sign on this film holder. When I bought these film holders, they were all used because uh, they're so much more uh, you know, cost-effective to buy it used. But you'll find that the previous owner has marked up a lot of things, like exposed. And a good rule of thumb, which I'll talk about in another video, is, is figuring out, making sure you know, first of all, what film stock you have in your film holder by putting a sticker here, and knowing which system you're using to, to uh, tell yourself that your film is exposed. For example, uh, each film holder black slide has a white side and a black side. So just come up with a system that works for you. I happen to use the system of the black side out means I'm exposed and the white side up means that the film is not exposed. You dig? Okay, so here we are, right? Now I'm actually set up to shoot. So I showed you the basic setup of the camera, the logistics of the film, of the lens, and now we're pretty much ready to shoot. This red cloth around my neck is tr should be traditionally the black cloth that's used to focus, which I would put over my head like so when focusing. In order to uh, focus up, you will cock your lens, which it is, and then there's a, a view, I call it a viewing button, which you open, and that, allow, that opens up the lens so you can see through the back, through the lens, and focus up on your subject matter. Now, when you're done focusing up and you're ready to take the shot, you can't see through the camera anymore, so you have to shut that down. That shuts down the lens, so there's no light going through. You will now be ready to load your film, which I have right here. As you can see, this is my film holder. I have already shot one side of this. As you can see, this a black line here on the dark slide. Turn it over, you see that this is the light side. This indicates to me that I haven't shot on that side. And also, I have a note here, this is plus X. This is a horribly expired, <laughs> expired in the year 1981 Kodak plus X film, which I'm shooting on. So I'm gonna take this, I'm putting it into the back of my camera, which you can't see, but I demonstrated before. Okay, it'll kind of click in so you know what's in. I'm pulling out the dark slide. I feel like a magician, right? Dark slide is out. Uh, now, Joey K, who's behind the camera, just give us one of your famous poses. And a one, two, three. Okay, we took the shot. I, took, I put the dark slide back in, now with the black section facing out so that my film is protected. I can now pull the film holder out of the back of my camera, which I can do showing you. Film holder is out. The film is protected. It's the black side. Here are some images that I've shot on the Wista camera. My name is Michael Rosso. I host the internet radio show, the Film Photography Podcast on iTunes. Please do tune in. And if you have any questions, as I'm sure you will, you can send me an email at podcast at filmphotographyproject.com. Till next time, I'll see you.